hello hello wonderful people hello good afternoon good evening from wherever you are how you doing how is everybody doing how is your day going so far hello hello if you're out there and uh, <laughs> just bumped into this live video wave say hi um here it's sunday it's actually sunday the last sunday of september can you believe it we're already in fall you know um wow the year is almost towards the end um and i just wanted to jump in here and see how everybody's doing how has your week been how has your month been so far you know say hello tag a friend say hi how you doing you know wave at me i want to know who is out there is anybody out there in that world <laughs> hello everybody happy happy sunday to you happy sunday to you i hope you are blessed today i hope you're having a, a wonderful day today i hope you are thankful today because it is indeed another day that god has um, gifted us with and so if you're here and you're alive and you're not in hospital you know just thank god for that and 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 be gracious be grateful for what uh, he's done for you so far. You know, you have a roof over your head. Be grateful. You um, you have, you know, family intact. Be grateful. So I just wanted to dro uh, drop by and say hello and see how uh, we are all doing. We're about to enter into October. And uh, one of the things that I felt, I really, you know, was, you know, praying that God will, guide us and there's always this um it's a, it, it's interesting how you know when you study the word you see wisdom wisdom is such a crucial it's 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 mentioned in the bible 456 times the word wisdom and if it's mentioned that many times it must be important for all of us and even the scriptures tell us tells us very well that in Luke chapter 2 verse 52 it talks about Jesus increased in wisdom and in stature and in favor with God and with men and so you know I, I was wondering God what is it about wisdom and why does it please you when people request for wisdom because in his word he says uh, we should ask for wisdom and more so understanding and if anybody lacks wisdom we should ask of it because he gives it to us uh, graciously. So, um, and I thought about King Solomon. You know, King Solomon uh, inherited the kingdom from his father. And King Solomon didn't have to really fight the fights his father had to fight. But in, he, he inherited such a great nation. And as a young man, you know, he's come into leadership. And one of the things he, uh, when he was praying, God was asking him, what would you need from me? He didn't ask for money. He didn't ask for he good health. He asked that God would give him wisdom so that he could be able to lead the people of, uh, of God. You know, So wisdom was crucial. And yet we see it also in, in the New Testament. Jesus grew in wisdom and stature. So if we are to be like Jesus, we have to also grow in wisdom and stature. We have to grow in wisdom and um, as much as the Lord did. And so the, and I'm not talking about just the worldly wisdom. I'm talking about the wisdom that comes from heaven, which is pure and quiet uh, with gentleness. So it's in the scripture. The Bible says it allows us to discuss, it allows a discussion and is willing to yield to others. Wisdom that is, you know, open to discussion, open to, you know, yield to others, that kind of wisdom, wisdom that is willing to listen. And we are entering in a very, very crucial time in our country where, you know, we're entering into, there's a lot of decisions that have to be made. Uh, and we have to really, really be asking God for wisdom at this time and this season. And so asking him to guide us so that we're not, you know, we don't do things out of sense, you know, sense out of emotion, but out of godly wisdom. Whatever decisions we choose to make, let it be a decision made out of godly wisdom. So, um, and I know people might ask, 
how do you obtain wisdom? There's so many ways to, you know, obtain wisdom, but this wisdom that you obtain because you are, you experienced something and you bec either you become wise or stupid after you encounter a, a situation in life. But there's wisdom that comes from God, and that's the kind of wisdom that we ought to be praying for. That's the kind of wisdom that we ought to be asking God about. You know, wisdom comes. Uh, consider wisdom in these areas. Wisdom is, you know, wisdom as a gift, uh, wisdom as a spirit. Wisdom um, from studying the word of God and wisdom arising from life experience. So there's wisdom in all those elements. And so we have to really ask God, like, for instance, if wisdom is a gift, uh, the book of uh, First Corinthians chapter 12 says, for to one is given the word of wisdom through the spirit and to another, the word of knowledge, according to uh, the same spirit. So wisdom is a gift from the spirit. And then there's also wisdom as a spirit. The, the Bible says in uh, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 2, the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. So wisdom is also a spirit, you know. Um, and also you can get wisdom from studying. Uh, when you go to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, it says, study to show yourself approved unto God. Listen, study to show yourself approved unto God, not study to show yourself approved unto man. You know, we don't study the word to show ourselves approved to man, we study to show ourselves approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth, you know. So you're studying so that the wisdom that shows in you is not as unto man, is really as unto God. Because when you study the word of God, you'll be able to, you know, divide it correctly. You'll be able to analyze and be able to receive what the Lord is saying through the spirit so that you show yourself approved to God. And then there's a wisdom arising from life experiences. Proverbs chapter 24 verse 16 says, for the righteous fall seven times and rises again, but the wicked stumble in times of calamities. So we ought to be asking in this season, especially as we enter the month of October, let us ask God for wisdom. Let us require uh, humble ourselves and surrender ourselves because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. If you do not have the fear of the Lord today, I just want to urge you to, you know, seek the fear of God that will lead you to wisdom, not fearing God that he will strike you dead, but fearing that, you know, God, if I, if I don't follow you, if I don't follow your ways, I will fall apart, not because you want me to, but because I've chosen a path that is not yours. So, having that kind of fear asking always subjecting submitting yourself to the lord and to the holy spirit is wisdom and that's the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom so humble and surrender to god humbling yourself and surrendering to god is the first step as to the beginning of wisdom so we want um you know we want to be a people who walk by wisdom and uh Wisdom also comes through prayer. You know, you pray and ask God for wisdom. Remember I talked about Sol Solomon. Solomon asked God, you know, that he would give him wisdom so that he knows how to govern and counsel the people of, uh, of Israel that, you know, this great nation that his father had left him uh, to handle. So in James chapter 1, verse 5 through 6, it says, But if any of you lacks wisdom, why would he say any of you lacks wisdom? At one moment or the other, we all lack wisdom at, in, at a given point. And so I say, let him ask of God who gives to all generously without reproach and it will be given unto him. So we know that in life you are faced with circumstances and in this season we'll be faced with circumstances where we don't know and we need to ask God for his wisdom in the direction to take in the decisions that we are making because he what, what will he do when we ask God of his wisdom he will generously give it to us without reproach and um and, and also we must ask for this kind of wisdom in faith you know without doubting without doubting uh without having a double mind you know when god tells you to do something after you've asked for the wisdom to do something and he gives you the answer don't second guess yourself don't doubt don't doubt what god has downloaded to you so it is important for us to have wisdom so i'm praying that 
you know, we all can grow in this area. We all can, you know, continue to mature every day in the area of wisdom. I'm praying that God will give us a, a, a heart of purity that will keep us away uh, from evil. So that's wisdom. We pray that God will give us a spirit of counsel, you know, like he did for Joseph, for those in authority, if you're in, in leadership and everything, that is wisdom in itself, asking God to show you, I'm a leader, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, a supervisor, manager, whatever area that you are in, in position, asking God to show you how to lead, that's wisdom. Uh, asking God to give you wisdom where you can, uh, beyond your ears, so that you can solve complex issues like Solomon, you know, uh, asked for wisdom. What are the complex issues in your life right now Today, as we speak, what are those complex issues that you're facing in your life? If you're having that complex issue and you don't know which direction to take, it could be whether it's a relationship that you're getting into. It could be whether you're purchasing a home. It could be whether you're purchasing a Whatever it is that it's complex to you, you know, because complex to me varies from one person to the other. So whatever complex issues that you're experiencing today, I pray that you will ask God for his wisdom. Ask him for his wisdom to guide you and more so understanding. So I'm asking that, you know, if Jesus who you know, is the Messiah and we are to be like Jesus. If we are to grow uh, and be like Jesus, if, if we're supposed to continue changing from day to day to be like Jesus, we have to also mimic exactly what he did. If he grew in wisdom, then that means, and him being the son of God, fully man, fully God, and still had to grow in wisdom, we too have to grow in wisdom. Wisdom sometimes will call you to shut your mouth. Wisdom sometimes will call you to, you know, to just back off uh, from certain situations. Wisdom will tell you, don't go there. Wisdom will guide you. Wisdom is, is, is a gift from the spirit. Wisdom will keep you from wrecking your life. Wisdom will always direct you into the right path. So if we want our lives to go according to the ways of the Lord. Wisdom is that light that the Holy Spirit uses along our path. When he says he orders my steps, wisdom is the one that helps order your steps with you. You know, as you walk with God, it's wisdom, the spirit of wisdom. So we need the wisdom of God to be able to make decisions. Wisdom, let me say how I, you know, recently, uh, during COVID, and I know, you know, it's not over, but at the beginning when we all shut in and uh, we were just in the house and um and i know a lot of us put on some pounds that we did not expect uh because we're busy munching and i ended up uh gaining weight that i did not need and it affected my health it affected my my way of doing things and um and i had to pray for wisdom i said god i need I, I don't want a, a fad. I don't want to, you know, give me wisdom. How am I supposed to handle this so that I can reset this body to proper health? And I tell you, the answer I got is not what I really wanted to hear. <laughs> Ooh, the answer I got was like, okay, we, we, you have to change how you eat and you have to exercise. And I don't like to exercise. I would rather eat healthy so that I lower my calories and, and lose the weight. But this time I had to exercise. And um, I haven't done that in like in a long time. But when I, when I listened to wisdom, and I'm saying this, I listened to the wisdom. I, I, I said, I'm going to engage in this and and transform my body back and whip it back to shape because when this thing is lifted i need to be able to travel and do the work of the kingdom the way god has called me there are places he wants me to go and i can't go complaining with my body not being in the right condition uh, of aching and everything so i got up i hate running actually not hate hate is a strong word i dislike running you know not, it's not even marathon running job jogging and so i have this class that i have to take jogging at least three times a week and then i took a dance class and when i tell you i within a month the entire month of september i lost all the weight that i had gained during COVID, during the beginning of covid and i feel better i sleep better 
you know, I'm, um, I'm feeling more alive. <laughs> Clothes are fitting better. So wisdom, I had to listen to wisdom, even though that's not what I wanted. And there are times when I, you know, wisdom will wake me up and say, it's time for you to get up and run. And I just don't feel like doing it, but I have to do it. And if I need to see the results of what wisdom is telling me, then I have to do what wisdom is asking me to do. So listen, the wisdom from the Holy Spirit, the wisdom from God, Godly wisdom is the best wisdom. I don't have, you know, I don't, I hate medicine and I would rather do whatever God is telling me to do to stay healthy and keep, you know, and stay energetic than be on medication. So again, what is the complex issue? Because I had gone to hospital. There were things that were not happening. I was aching all over my body. It just did not make sense. I had blood work done asking the doctors to run every test that they could run and there was nothing else but the minute i changed and i listened to the word of wisdom everything has completely shifted back my body is reset to what it's supposed to be so i'm going to tell you the secret is listen to the lord when i am craving something that i know i'm not supposed to eat the holy spirit tells me don't don't do that you know what that will do to you the res end result of that so that's wisdom speaking to us so i'm praying that as we enter into the month of october you know we we ask the lord uh, to show us his ways of wisdom to teach us his ways of wisdom whether it's how we deal with finances whether it's how we deal with relationships whether it's wisdom in dealing with our health whether it's wisdom in 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 purchases huge purchases whether wisdom at work every area around everything around your life should be guided by wisdom so right now i pray that god that this message will bless somebody and i hope we will see each other again very soon. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Shiro, thank you. Hi, Lai. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Everybody who has welcomed me in your space, I really, really appreciate all of you. I honor you. And I keep praying that God will continue to guide you. Thank you for your prayers over me. You know, for all of you who inbox me and, and encourage me in prayers and just support. Thank you. I, I, I don't take that for granted. Until next time, I God bless you and shalom. Have a wonderful week. Bye.